Welcome back folks. Today we are doing an unboxing. If I see from the title, you already know what it is. But I'm excited to get a new rig in the shop. Definitely not a new one that just came out. The Yeti Junior Axial Can-Am. This has been out for a while. Um, but I wanted something smaller. And thought about the uh, SCX 24, but a lot of people are getting those right now, so I thought, why not go ahead and pick one of these up and um, do an unboxing for you guys, kind of go through what it entails, um, but I'm excited, this thing looks like it'll be a blast to drive, so let's go ahead and uh, crack the fresh seal on this. So before I cut the seal, um, let's just kind of go over some stuff here, at the time of this filming, this vehicle rig RC is 150 uh, I got mine off Amazon just because Prime I had the uh, membership so it got me two days for shipping so ordered this on Tuesday it's already Thursday when I filmed this so very quick um, so I'll probably take uh, photos of this and throw it on the Facebook page if you're interested in checking that out just gives you some stuff uh, in the Independent front suspension, adjustable coil shocks, solid rear axle, looks like you got some Maxxis tires, um, 2.0 tires, 12 millimeter hex, looks like the body flips up right there, so that's kind of cool, and the three link rear suspension, um, batteries are included, looks like you do get your double uh, A's, regular nickel metal and charger with that, got a 37 tooth turn, waterproof Give or take if that's going to be real or not, it could just be resistant. Uh, 15 tooth pinion, you know, you got your adjustable motor mount, typical. Um, you got a spectrum uh, transmitter, you got your spectrum ESC, spectrum servo, it says metal, metal gear, so hopefully it holds up decent. Adjustable battery tray, and looks like uh, you got your 1300 mAh charge capacity battery here. Nickel metal and just a USB style looks like a uh, yep, USB power source. So you just plug that into your USB port. Six cell nickel metal. Uh, looks like this is a two channel um, built in three position throttle. Um, 2.4 gigahertz as usual. Nothing too crazy. So this is 1 18th scale as well. So here's the seal. Still on there, so let's go ahead and crack this. All right, so it's probably a charger. Yep. Nothing else in that box. This is the uh, USB charger I was talking about, right there, little connector, so got the instructions all right there, charging complete, it'll turn green, when it's charging it'll be red, flashing red is an error, so quick rundown of that. Not sure if this ESC can uh, handle a LiPo, if so, I'd like to switch over to that, but if not, we'll have to uh, investigate further and just switching that over at some point. So we got the transmitter. A lot bigger than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be tinier. Um, so you got your throttle steering. Uh, the trims for them. So kind of your standard stuff. Throttle limitations. You can do 100, 75, or 50. Zoom in for you guys. So nothing too fancy. Just Decent weight to it, nothing special. Your four double A's will go in the bottom. Standard. All plastic, no rubber grip or anything. Stubby antenna, which is always nice. Um, but yeah, on off right here. I just expected it to be one of those smaller ones that they've uh, been coming out with with the SCX 24s and stuff. At least they were. They might have went back to the bigger ones. So, all right, set that aside. Go 
gonna grab the good stuff here. Alright, so you can see the box is empty. Toss that aside. Do you have our double A's, cross wrench, some extra parts, the book? Crack that open in a second. Main thing you guys are looking forward to is right here. The good old Axial Can Am 118 scale. Let's go ahead and uh, snip these zip ties. back there. All right. Nice tiny little tires here. They feel pretty good though. Nice and soft. Got a couple body pins up here. Like we seen on that uh, picture, this lid will pop up. Nice little suspension up front. Got some parts colored red. Matching the shocks a little bit and the theme. Um, before we crack that too far open, let's go ahead and give this booklet a look. Got some parts laying around and stuff. I was working on Max D again and trying to get that thing up and running since the uh, debut of the ice body. Had those parts breaking again and everything, so I'm trying to get that thing back up and hopefully 100% again. Keep saying that and it doesn't work out, but. Now we got some parts coming, so hopefully that changes things. So we got, um, looks like you have a steering horn, a couple of little collars, maybe for a drive shaft. Got some extra, two extra dog bone pieces in here. Um, let's go ahead and get you guys a little bit closer, just so you can guys see a little bit better. Lighting in, this, in the garage is terrible. But you can see you got servo horn there. These two pieces right here are just two extra dog bone pieces, little shafts. Um, it's like some collars for maybe the draft shaft and then a little plastic piece in there. I don't know what that would be for. It looks like maybe a cross member or something. So, got that. Got the batteries. I know the SCX24 wasn't getting good. Uh, reviews on the batteries so keep an eye on those make sure they're not corroding or having issues but i'm going to try those out anyways standard cross wrench got a little extra body pin right there some uh free cool brand swag horizon don't do that looks like we got maybe a warranty nope just warnings and handling storage all that stuff Get your uh, Yeti Junior booklets. Not as it's not bad, but my other ones for Max D and my SCX10 are like a nice kind of matte gloss finish. Two of them compared to this. I don't know if they switched or not. So as usual, your book just lays out everything you should get. What's recommended for tools, by charging and everything. And then in the back here should have your exploded parts. Yep. So guys, remember, most things you just pitch the instructions. But it comes to the RC hobby, keep them because this gives you all the uh, replacement part numbers and everything. So if you're new to the hobby, keep that. So let's get back into the main focus of this video. And go ahead and pop these two pins. They're just two black ones. This top portion you can just peel off if you guys want to. You know, this is big right now, it's peeling this plastic slowly. So, there you go. Nice shiny black gloss on the top as well. Got the two guys inside with a little bit of sticker decals, kind of nice looking, not too shabby. Got a little shifter and whatnot in there. I know, like, I'm a Max D. 
I took off the helmet. Should have screws, yeah. Little Allen screws. You can take those helmets off and uh, do a little custom painting on them if you want. But let's crack that open here. Got the antenna right there. Little body post. Got your ESC right here. Your small little 380 size brush motor, 37 turn. It's like back here is where you got that little toggle. You just line that up and it should allow you to pop the uh, battery tray up. Yep, just like that. If you guys see that little key looking hole, you just line that tab up with that. And that'll allow you to uh, move that forward. Got your tiny little nickel metal battery there. Six cell. And that's pretty much it for the electronics. I do like that this pivots up. Makes it a little bit easier for uh, handling the battery and getting everything set up. And turning on the uh, little on switch here. Um, looks like... Everything for the most part is plastic. Uh, you got the servo right over here. And guys, when you get a new RC, especially if you're new to the hobby, it's always a good idea to uh, go through it and make sure all the bolts and stuff are tight because otherwise you're going to be quickly probably losing some parts on the trail. So go through that before heading out just to make sure you don't lose anything right away. I uh, got plastic pieces all over here for the uh, turnbuckles and stuff. These are metal for the drive shafts up here. Um, what else is there here? Got the rear axle. Um, not too bad. I'm wondering if I could use my uh, the Feiyu Desert Desert Runner type buggy that I have. I wonder if that would fit back here if I put it on there. Um, it kind of looks like the same kind of base platform. Metal drive shaft right here. This is four wheel steer, or four wheel steel, steer. Uh, four wheel drive, um, not four wheel steer. So you got the metal dog bone style back here it looks like. Nice little metal bearing that's sealed. Plastic trailing arms. A arms up here look be the same so plastic chassis as well which can be good and bad for this it's smaller it's probably just fine it doesn't need to be metal um, just adds the plastic is a little bit extra flex too um, but yeah nice rubber tires and instead of the traditional wheel nut looks like these might just be held on with little allen bolts let me grab one real quick. Yeah, let's crack one of these bad boys off here. See if uh, what it looks like. Definitely on there. Normal unboxing videos, you probably won't be seeing things taken apart, but why not? So, yeah, just a little Allen screw holding the tire on. I believe this is a 2.0 millimeter. So, 12 millimeter hex right here. That looks like it drops down to something smaller, even so. Not too shabby. Um, Got some decent shocks, not metal or anything. Um, of course, the spring is, but the uh, body of it, like the bottom and top, it's all plastic. You can adjust it, so not too bad. But overall, I'm excited to uh, get it out there, get it running. Like I said, this is definitely not a new RC that just came out, but you know, it looks like it'd be a fun one to get out on the trail, especially. Uh, if you live near the woods and stuff, you can actually get some decent running. I think it says desert. You know, it's more for, like, sandy stuff. But we'll give it a go. Um, get this thing charged up and out there. It's kind of pretty cold out right now. So 
Um, I'll probably still run it, but if it is cold where you're at and you're just getting this, maybe you want to wait till it gets a little warmer because plastic does get more brittle. But um, biggest thing, just tighten every bolt you see to make sure everything is secured if you don't want to lose any parts. But any questions, please comment below. And I'll be doing a first run video of this stock coming up shortly. Um, just so you guys see how it does handle and hopefully nothing breaks right away so I don't feel like buying parts but um, yeah any questions like I said just comment below I'll try to respond as quick as possible go check out the Facebook page I think we're over 120 subs uh, group members already so it's doing pretty well and I'll take pictures of the box and stuff and kind of post it on there as well if you want to look at those up close um, please subscribe if you have not, share the channel with your uh, friends and family, and uh, yeah, check out the other videos and playlists, and I'll catch you guys next time.